What is up, YouTube? Welcome to another candy making episode here. What yeah. are we making today, Dad? We're gonna make some hard candy today, and we're gonna make a very old one called clove hard candy. It's see, delicious. See, I asked my dad what that was. <laughs> I, I don't, I, I don't even remember what that looks like. So it'll be interesting, interesting to see what it, what all goes down today. Yeah, yeah. So right now, I'm just gonna add some corn syrup, a little corn syrup and sugar, and uh, we'll get that on the, get that I'm on fine. the furnace in a little right. bit. So all right. That is the deal. So we're going to start off about a pound of corn syrup. And then, going to set the scale here. And it's not going to be a very big batch. I don't need a lot of this. This goes into the Christmas mix. And we may try to make a few candy canes uh, with it. That's not an electric scale, Dad. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> old school. Oh, yeah. It took, it took me a while to find these things. <laughs> You're going to see throughout this series a lot of old school stuff. And a lot of it took me a long time to find. Most of the recipes are all over 100 years old. So that's that. Now, I know I added the... Uh, corn syrup, but this batch tends to sugar on me. I really haven't figured it out, so I'm just going to throw a little cream of tartar on there too. So hopefully we'll have a little luck. We will put this on, uh, add some water, and then we'll put that on the furnace. Well, I've got the cream of tartar in. Now about a quart and a half of, of water. This is only a, like a 12 pound batch. So now over to the fire, and it's hard candy, so you go as hot as you can go, all the way. Stir this in a little bit, and then again we'll be uh, wiping down the sides once we get to a boil. And then we're also uh, going to steam this batch, and we're going to get this up to 310 degrees, 310, 315. We're gonna make hard candy. This is gonna be a clear body with uh, three green stripes. I heated up some vegetable oil. This is gonna go on the table. I like your handle, Dad. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I've used this for about three years this way. Need a, need a Christmas present? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think I do. Uh, so, gonna put this on. It's real bad if it's real hot and you stick your hand on it, but it was perfect, so <laughs> I lucked out. So I get this all set. Set this. <laughs> perfect. perfect. <laughs> I'm going to put the bars up here. This is where I'll be uh, pouring the hot candy. And I'll show you what I'm going to do here because we're going to have this little portion is going to be the green stripes and you'll see that in a little while where this main portion is going to be clear so this batch has given me problems before and uh, hoping hoping that doesn't happen to us today so oh, we'll see all right we're coming to a boil here so this will need a Another wipe down and another like seven minute steam. So I'll get my paddle out. Again, get all of the sugar and, uh, you know, down into it dissolved because it's, especially this batch, it'll come back and haunt you later. So, okay, we got the foil coming. This will get another steam. Usually, before I throw this on, I usually let that come up and come down again, so you'll, you'll see. 
know, different batches of sugars, they'll uh, they'll throw you once in a while. They'll be a little. My uncle used to call it dirty or something, but uh, there'd be something you know that wouldn't be as refined. So sometimes you'd have a real real problem with the uh, sugar rising too much. It's like if you do brown sugar, and someday I hope to show you the brown sugar cinnamon, which is a, an awesome batch. And you'll see, you'll see what I mean. So, another wipe down. And steam it. And there we go, seven minutes. We'll take that off, throw the thermometer in, and go to 310, 315. All right, seven minutes is up. On our hard candy that we're making right now. Again, right after this. I do this again. Seems redundant, but it's important. And especially with a, you know, basically a pure sugar hard candy. Thermometer in. I don't have a lot in here, so I need to kind of push it over onto the thermometer. A little bit. So now we're going to wait for 310, 315, somewhere in that range. And then we'll get busy again. So this is going to be the green stripe, little food coloring paste. I'm not going to put a lot in because this green really goes green. It's kind of funny because my hands will always be different colors by the end of the day. So we're at about now we're at about 285. So it tends to go faster, especially when the uh, water is being burnt off and you're just down to basically the candy so it, uh, it goes a little faster now so gotta kind of watch it all right we are at 215 gonna take this out put it in the sink for now and we're gonna pour out the clear body so turn off our flame all right Here we go. Now I gotta leave a little bit in there because I'm gonna want to get my green stripe with that. So kind of a it's kind of tough to judge sometimes. Green in. Generally, I use the other side here of the kettle so we don't risk the sugar, eh? Oh, that's a nice looking green. Oh, that was pretty good. Pretty good guess. All right. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> All right. So now. Gotta get these edges in. What I like to do, this will give me a little room. Just move my bars then. Mm -hmm. Get these tucked in. This stuff is like super hot. It, uh, does not go well with skin <laughs> at all. Oh, there you okay, go. we're all right. We're good. We're good. We're all right. <laughs> Gonna hang on here. Maybe that's why I have two bars. That too, right? <laughs> so little pieces like this, you got to watch because that can come back and haunt you. And like that piece right there. So, right now, it's just a matter of cooling it down. So 
what next is I'm going to chop off enough for a jacket and the two stripes. There will be three green ones, two white ones, and then the jacket. And the rest of the batch is in flavored. The jacket helps with uh, the candy not sticking. So otherwise that flavoring sometimes will, that you won't be able to work it. Your gloves will be sticking to it. So uh, there's not a lot of people doing this right now. And uh, one, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of time. But I think if you got a homemade shop, homemade candy shop, and you've been taught how to do that, it would be a shame if you didn't, uh, you didn't try it at least. So. so now I've got my section, which won't get flavoring. And then I'll get my, my gloves. So I have a pair of gloves for flavors. And then the, the regular batch. Try to keep the bars away from it if you can, because that you know it hardens up pretty pretty good on those bars. So I've got my flavoring. Now, hard candies, oils, always pure oils, and if you can shake a lot, it really helps. All right, I'm gonna go see. Yeah. Oils are very strong, which is great. Less moisture. Work them in. And I tell you, they're, they're so strong that I generally just go maybe two caps, maybe two and a half, probably just two caps since this is only 12 pounds. Yeah, it's important to fold it in. You could smell this. Yeah, you can really smell that. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, sometimes you get a little smoke coming off. So yeah, we got a real good start with this. So I'll take my gloves off. Now, if this is ready, these are my non-flavored gloves. I'm gonna go over here. I think we're not quite ready on this yet. I'm gonna bring one of these over here, just in case we're able to do a few canes. I'll show you how that's done. Normally you don't make clove canes, but we will try. All right, now I'm gonna head over to my little batch heater and we'll get this ready. One stripe. Might have a little bit of a thin stripe in the middle. How's that fun? Just gotta pop over there real quick. It's firming up pretty good. I know I'm using my good gloves for that, but this will be all right. All right. So now, what you're looking at is the stripes which don't have any flavor. I'm also going to make a jacket. Now, this becomes a jacket that will wrap around the flavored parts. Here we go. This is the flavored part. 
get this wrapped in the unflavored jacket. And if you don't get it completely around, that's okay because those stripes will they'll save you. So it'll kind of work the jacket. Now, throw this onto there. Then I usually slide down to the cooler part of the table here. So, now, since we're going to be doing mainly pillows, you can work with this a little warmer than, than canes. Now it's a matter of pulling those through, those three. Down. Back under the flame. Now, usually this part up here isn't going to have any flavor, so I'm going to put that over there. Sometimes I wonder if they even make these kind of buttercup cutters. I see the patents on 1898. You know. So I kind of do a little launch, breaks them up with little pillows. So eventually we sell this separately as clove, clove pillows. Uh, and uh, sometimes it'll go into the main, uh, we make a holiday mix which has Gosh, what are we talking here? Eight flavors or so of different hard candies. So that usually sells out, but yeah, try to keep up. All right, so if you're watching me right now, normally we don't do clove canes, but I'm going to show you how this, how I'm twisting those three green stripes around. So we're always keeping this warm as warm as you can kind of stand. So, so I got this marked here. Now I'm going to angle that cut. Surefire way to know that you just have a homemade candy cane is that cut right there. So then I'm going to move down here. I got a bar. See how that's going like that, that angle? wrapped around. Keeping that back straight. Move it up with your finger. One more. So that's truly a homemade candy cane. So the rest of this batch I'm just gonna pull pillows. It's a pretty popular singular, you know, flavor. So that'll go in its own jar and whatever's left goes in the mix. trick is folks is trying to find an ugly piece that you can steal is that good that's probably good that'll be mine oh, great well i'm gonna have one there yeah too. yeah so <laughs> that wraps it up that wraps clove it up can clove hard candy yeah. um I'll, i think i'll probably taste it it's been a, a really long time since i've had this candy <laughs> yep. yep just how i imagined oh, yeah. it yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah well thanks 
Yeah. Thanks for tuning in because yep. uh, we got six weeks to Christmas. Six and, weeks to uh, Christmas. Busy, busy time. Yeah. <laughs> You'll see some candy being yep. made. Yep. So yep. guys, if you want to try some of this candy, obviously get on the get on the website jamesjchocolateshop.com. I'll leave that in the link below in the description. Um, for whatever reason, it's not on the website. Message us on Facebook or Instagram. I'll leave all that too. Should be on the. Eh, maybe it's not. I don't know. On the website. Guess, Who guess knows? We'll find, we'll out. find out, right? <laughs> so, thanks for tuning in. Thank you. We'll mm. see you on the next candy making video. Thank you.